Well, good evening and uh, welcome to this evening prayer on Monday, the 13th of June. Let me start by reading uh, the first two verses of the psalm appointed for this evening, Psalm 105. O oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises and tell of all his marvellous works. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm certainly missing singing uh, with God's people and singing praises to our God of his marvellous works. We certainly, uh, we're not allowed to do that, but we're looking forward to that. I'm sure you are as well. So our help is in the name of the Lord, this Lord who is praiseworthy and who has done marvellous works. He made heaven and earth. And so God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. So as today, Monday, draws to an end, let's just pause for a moment and a chance to reflect on the day uh, that is nearly gone. Save us, O Lord, while waking, guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Well, I'm going to read uh, from the New Testament passage appointed for this evening, 2 Corinthians, and at the start of chapter 1, I'm going to read from verses 3 to uh, the end of verse 7, and um, I think you'll see they're really appropriate fitting verses for us just to reflect on for a moment. Paul writes, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble, with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm, because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. Well, you'll know, I'm sure on Sundays, we've been thinking uh, about the, uh, the theme and topic of uh, suffering as uh, believers. Well, these verses remind us, don't they? Uh, as if we needed reminded that we are not immune. Believers are not immune from the hardships and sufferings that we face in the world, whether that's illness and, and loss, uh, just uh, the, the ups and downs of a broken world or whether it's the more specific persecution and opposition for our faith in Christ. But, but Paul here, having acknowledged the reality of, of suffering, uh, he passes on to us as God's people the, the expectation, the privilege, but expectation that in the midst of troubles, we get to pass on God's comfort, the comfort he shows us, we get to pass on to others in their trouble. Listen to verses 4 and 5 again. He says, Blessed be the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. I find these verses really helpful. Did you notice that it's not our comfort that we're that we're meant to offer to people as they go through hard times? It is God's comfort that we are comforting other people uh, with. Verse three, he's the father of compassion. Um, he is the God of all comfort. If, if it were left to just us, um, it could feel a bit overwhelming, couldn't it? We might feel bad for someone as they go through a hard time, but we might feel lost for words. And well, where do I start? What do I say? Uh, but God uh, reminds us here, Paul reminds us here, that we comfort others with God's comfort. We don't have to conjure it up in ourselves. But God goes even further, doesn't he? He calls himself the father of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it is his consolations, his compassion that are born out of uh, his intimate, perfectly loving relationship, the eternal father-son relationship that God the Father has with uh, Jesus the Son. Just imagine any compassionate, loving father. He's always going to be devastated, isn't he, by seeing the gut-wrenching suffering of a, of a beloved son. And yet God the Father has experienced exactly that. As his son, the suffering servant, Jesus Christ, bore sin and its consequences and God's anger at sin on the cross. Jesus Christ 
um, went through that on the cross for us. And so um, uh, this Heavenly Father, the Father of this Lord Jesus Christ, well, he knows how to comfort us, therefore. But more than that, he knows that Jesus Christ, his perfect son, the man of sorrows, well, he knows that he is also the bread of life, that as his body was torn and broken on the cross, he wasn't just suffering so that uh, he could say, well, I've suffered and share that experience with us. Now, his body was torn and broken, not for nothing, but for, for the nourishment and good of his people, for, for salvation, but also to be able to tenderly, caringly, lovingly support us and strengthen his hurting people. And here's the privilege that we have as his people, as, as part of his body, uh, well, um, uh, the least part, at uh, least part of the way that God comforts us is that he uses us uh, to comfort each other to pass on God's encouragement to one another, uh, even in the midst of our own brokenness, as we experience the ups and downs, the hardships of life, as God meets us and comforts us and strengthens us and enables us to endure patiently, we are then equipped to point other broken followers of Jesus uh, to this God of all comfort and compassion. Not because we have the answers, uh, not because we can take away the pain, but because we have come to know the one who, well, in his death, and suffering has first of all promised to be with us and to comfort and strengthen us, but ultimately has made a way by his suffering, by his pain, by his death and by his glorious resurrection, beating death, uh, to overcome and to end and to promise a glorious future uh, where all suffering, all pain, all crying and mourning uh, will be gone in God's glorious new creation. And so we comfort one another with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Well, let me pray that we would uh, be uh, perhaps better at doing that than we are. Let's pray together. Our God of all comfort and compassion, because Jesus suffered for us and suffered to end all suffering and pain, help us, we pray, to comfort one another in the certain knowledge of all that Jesus has done for us, not in our strength, but by pointing to you, Thank you that you make hope and endurance, patience, even in the face of hardship possible. Help us to support each other well in our weakness, in our brokenness. And make us thankful, we pray, for the Lord Jesus, for his body broken uh, for us, but also his body uh, gloriously raised from the dead, having defeated sin and death and all of its consequences. Father, we thank you that because of Christ, our comfort, it says here, can overflow. We pray that that would be our experience and that we would faithfully point one another to Jesus Christ and all that he's done for us. We just take a moment, Father, to lift to you in our prayers, in our minds, quietly, any who we know need our comfort uh, or need your comfort particularly at the moment. We pray, Father, that you would grant them strength through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so our almighty uh, compassionate, comforting, everlasting God. We thank you that you've brought us safely to the end of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, um, at the start of um, this week, we're going to um, I'm going to reduce the number of uh, these evening videos. We're going to drop down to um, three. We'll try three a week, Monday, uh, Wednesday and uh, Friday. If it's uh, not me, there'll be uh, there'll be someone else, another video. Um, but um, uh, do look out for them and do share them with uh, those that might find them um, helpful. At, um, but thank you for uh, tuning in. And um, uh, we're going to just try that as we um, manage the next um, couple of weeks and months and um, um, uh, me uh, planning some time away as well, just working around that. So three videos per week. These words of conclusion. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. So the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for watching. Good night and God bless.